Welcome to San Miguel. Phew. Let's explore this magical Mexican city by foot. The nipple. Frank. And then by a whole different vantage point. I've never done this before and it's been on my bucket list for years. But first we're cleaning up in the most van life way possible. We're going to take the gentleman up on his offer and head over to his house and take showers. Let's see how it goes. Today's adventure is gonna be F and A. We're going to nine countries in nine months, so be sure to subscribe for this crazy ride. Oh, I'm so sorry. Great shot, Frank. <laughs> I just bopped right, Alex right. in the head with the camera. I'm still a little too tired for this. Just waking up, it's time. Alex keeps running while Paco takes a poop and leaves me to do the duty. You got it? The duty? Let's go! Oh my god. One mile a day every day this month. That's the goal. Today's day two. So one mile, seven minutes, 33 seconds. So I guess my question is, do you think that we'll be able to get it down to like six minutes by the end of the month? I don't know. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments below. I think the last two days have been kind of easy because we are in San Miguel de Lin in Parque Bonito Juarez. And it's absolutely gorgeous here. It's the biggest park in San Miguel de Lin. And it's just surrounded by so much flora and beautiful homes and it's just very peaceful here. They also have a beautiful basketball court that I was able to play at last night. The greatest thing about this park is that we slept on the road right next to it. We've added the spot to Seeker so you can find it too. The link to download that app is down in the description. Uh, muchas gracias. Adios. Who's that? Yo, this random guy just came up. He said his name is Juan and he just offered us hot showers. What do you want to do? I don't know. He gave me his WhatsApp so we could write to him. I don't know. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, I do. I don't have a bad gut feeling about it. So I think it's a good idea. I don't know, guys. What would you do? Would you go take a stranger at some guy's house? Go take a stranger at some guy's house? Is that what I said? Yes, it is. I, after I run, I don't make sense. All my blood is in my legs. Alex and I just decided that we're going to take the gentleman up on his offer and head over to his house and take showers. Let's see how it goes. I know what you guys are probably thinking. You're nuts, you're crazy. You guys aren't gonna make it out alive. I bet you a million dollars we will life and opportunity and yeah that's what got us into it and now we're all the way down here you know meeting awesome people <laughs> thank you so much thank you make thank yourself you. at home thank you we will it just shows the kindness of strangers it's really amazing that he's even offered us to be able to stay here if we want to and he gave us our own space and our privacy it just goes to show like how nice people really are thank you all right let's check out the bathroom Ooh. This is so pretty in here. And so this guy is like a biker and he drives on a motorcycle all around the country here as well as he's been as far north as Chicago on a motorcycle. So he's about to head back up and take his motorcycle down through the, uh, I think it's the Appalachian, and make his way back down to Mexico. So cool. <laughs> And just like that, we are fresh and clean. <sighs> Thank you, Javier. Javier. We appreciate you and your family for allowing us to come in and take showers. And uh, if we need them again, we'll definitely hit you up. We appreciate it. Yeah, what a beautiful gesture and beautiful home. And maybe, you know, don't be scared next time. I also want to say inherently people are good. Uh, people like good connection, they like to ha make friends, and they are travelers too, so just understand that if you have a bad feeling in your gut, don't go. But for the most part, you probably won't feel that way.
We ended up with a little bit of extra time in the city because we have a very special excursion happening tomorrow. Yeah. So today we wanted to take you on the historical walk around downtown so that you could see why San Miguel has been designated a World UNESCO Heritage Site. Starting with this view. What makes San Miguel de Allende so magical and so historical is one of the things it was founded in the 1500s. That's so long ago. And yet it still retains all of its colloquial charm. I had a hard time getting that word out. And yet it has all its colonial charm from back in the day when the Spaniards were here. And they've kept most of that intact by not changing the buildings at all and they have a very strict code to keep it the way it is. San Miguel is a Pueblo Magica, and if you follow these ferries, you can find all of the best tourist attractions in town. One thing that I love to do is while we're walking through here, I like to just peek inside to the doors. And you just see these magnificent places. There's so many hidden alleyways and like full shops and like restaurants behind the walls of these buildings. It's actually really cool. That's an old machine. I wonder if it still works. The gas here used to be 38 pesos a liter? Uh, I think it was less. 20 pesos. Ah, uh, that's how much they paid, I think. That's for 46 liters. They paid 26 pesos. They paid 20, 20 pesos. pesos for 46 liters? Yeah. Dang, that's we need those kind of gas prices things. back. There are over 42 different churches here. Whew. <laughs> That's a lot of church. That is, and some say there's over 300 places to worship, so... I would say, preach, baby, <laughs> preach. The great thing about a lot of these churches is that they retain their original architecture, so they are so beautiful and a sight to be seen. This is the biggest one. So Frankie just learned that the Sistine Chapel in it's Italy not, is not a number. I thought it was 16. He thought it was the 16th chapel. Hey, you live and you learn, right? <laughs> Don't forget to take notice of all of the doors on all of the buildings. There's some really intricate ones that are super cool. They call this one the nipple. Frank. <laughs> Seriously though, a lot of them are super old and really cool. They're steel like doves. Built into it, that's beautiful. They call those the shitters. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most interesting things to me is actually hearing the car tires on the cobblestone. Either you get like a click clack, like a horse sound, or you get like a squeal. Do you hear the sound of the cobble? It's so cool. <laughs> I'm like, just taking this whole thing and eating it myself. I guess so. It is early as hell out. We explored the town by land, and now we're going to take you up above. Gracias. We made it. That's me. We're gonna go on one of these. How freaking excited are you? I've never done this before, and it's been on my bucket list for years. So I'm so excited. Uh,
Alex, how do you feel it? I'm really nervous. I'm gonna put my pants. <laughs> no. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm more excited. I feel like this is gonna be such a cool experience. We've both never done this before, so we're looking forward to it. Other than Alex might poop her pants. I'm like my heart beating. I'm like. I mean, you gotta hold it for 50 minutes. <laughs> I thought you went. I did. I'm so nervous, my tummy's like. <laughs> Look, do you have little step holes right here? Uh, That's how you're gonna get in. You got this, you'll be okay. <laughs> here, hold this. Yeah, this is so cool. <laughs> okay. And if you poop your pants, we'll get you a new pair. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So we're literally just standing in a basket that is uh, for like four or five people, maybe max. <laughs> I'm so nervous, I can't do this. Can't talk, can't talk. No, yeah. It's not like you. I know. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> About to go. Are you shooting? You good? Are you gonna make it? Ready to go! Oh, ah! We're in there! Yeah, we're in there! Ah! This is so cool! Oh, yeah! Ah! I'm gonna cry already. Yeah? Yeah. Of excitement? I don't know. <laughs> I have a lot of emotions. <laughs> wow, it's already becoming so beautiful. The mist that's around us from the valley is just incredible. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Like I kind of want to just like hold on to something because you're just literally standing inside of a basket. Wow, this, is this, so looks cool. so this is so cool. It looks so surreal. It looks so surreal. This right here is Lalo. He's been flying for over 15 years now. <laughs> so he's going to take We're good care of us. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm like, a, I'm a little nervous. But I'm nervous because it's something I've never done and I'm a little bit scared of heights. Um, I know that from when I used to work in air conditioning, I used to walk out to the edge of the buildings and look down and I would get that nervous feeling in my stomach. And I kind of am, am at that moment right now. <laughs> but I feel really good. It's, it's a really cool experience. And I think even if you're afraid, you should try it. How are you feeling? I feel a lot better than I did a couple of That's good. Yeah. It's really good. And it's good. really beautiful up here. Yeah. And it's like peaceful and slow and just kind of like chill. I love this mist that's happening. Yeah. Right now. I think by the time we kind of make it over that way, some of it will burn off and we'll have like a really clear view of everything around us at the moment. What a beautiful city. Definitely worth it. Changing over the tank. I didn't like that sound. It's broken.
Ooh, I'm gonna like go blind. From the sun. I'm trying to look, stare at it because it's so beautiful. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh, you can look at me if you like. That's it's okay. so beautiful. Am I glowing? You're glowing in the light, baby. He's glowing. I am. <laughs> wow, what a day, what a way to start your day. <sighs> we are so much higher than those other balloons. <laughs> As we're going down, we're losing elevation. I just felt my ears pop. This is kind of wild. Like we're dropping below this cloud right now. Now you could officially say that you've seen San Miguel from the ground and from above. <laughs> and then put my pants either way. <laughs> yes, I'm so proud of you. It was such a good it, well, it really was. It really, really was. I didn't touch it and she didn't go. <laughs> yeah. Let's see the waves of it. Looks like just a ocean above the city, an ocean of clouds. It's very cool to see the marine layer kind of burning off, but like we're almost exactly at the level that the marine is at. We're gonna go right through the clouds, baby. I'm glad to go through the clouds with you. So you don't want to pull this one unless you have no, to. Not <laughs> we don't what happens in the emergency? Do you just drop to the ground? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't like to be in the cloud. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, like, really? I can't see where we're going. <laughs> Yeah, like everything here is gone now. That's cool. Look at this little opening right here. The, the city is like totally covered now too. It went from like, you could see the whole city to not being able to see it at all. There's a peak, there's a sliver right there. Is it weird that I have a feeling of wanting to like fly through it? <laughs> Like skydive action. I want to be like. <laughs> and just like that, we made it through the cloud. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You want to take a nap on the cloud? I want to take you just nap. fall right through it. <laughs> Let's stop talking about falling to the ground. We're, going, we're doing that right now. In a oh, look, that way. lands for sale. Se vende. Left turn here. Make sure you don't pull the emergency one by accident. No. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, it feels like we're moving so fast in a circle, but really it's like... Very slow, yeah. <laughs> right now we're getting ready for the landing aspect of this. This is the part where we just, it's, you know, who knows? Who knows how it goes? There's only one person on this air balloon who has experienced landing. <laughs> It's not me. It's not us. Just tossed out the rope, and these guys will grab it <laughs> and make sure that we have a nice landing. <laughs> ah, pull, pull, pull. <laughs> Shouldn't have eaten all those tacos yesterday. They're having trouble with us. <laughs> Gotta have your Wheaties. <laughs> oh, we're gonna hit the house? No, he's put, they're pulling us in now. <laughs> arriba, arriba. <laughs> gonna skim the trees. Oh, we're gonna crunch them. You ready? Ooh. We definitely killed a bush. <laughs> little bounce. Oh. Uh, we go up a little bit. Dile que le eche que lo vamos a subir al remolque que le eche hasta acá. Why hi there, bush? We're on the ground, but the next move is to lift it back up and get into the truck. This is cool. Go for the basket. It's amazing how soft the basket like lays down. Yeah, it's like boop. It's like, boop, boop. 
I feel like if we were to like jump and try to land, just like, uh, you know? <laughs> I think it stays open until we get out of here. Oh, we're driving like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you thought they were going to put the balloon down right here? I don't know. Yeah. There's no way to put it. <laughs> this is the, the most extreme off-roading that I've ever done. <laughs> balloon, In a balloon basket. Balloon off-roading. That was amazing. That was definitely so much fun. Kind of nervous, but very much worth it. Would you say it's worth the money? Oh, a hundred percent. Because I know for me, it was always hard to pull the trigger. Yeah, well, I think, I don't know if it was less here in Mexico than it is in the States, but <sighs> that was a beautiful experience. Okay, all right, let's get out of here. So if you want, they do bring champagne so you can have like a little toast afterwards. But I'm high on life right now. I don't need that kind of stuff. <laughs> but they will be taking us to a spot to have breakfast. Breakfast is included in the tour. It's cute in here. company does I'm guessing that they do but it's the least we could do I feel like my hair is so big right now mm -hmm. Frank wouldn't let me curl it because we have no battery in the van because we've been without sun or moving for the last four days so time to move yeah I think it's time to start the car and drive away from San Miguel Our friends who let us shower the other day gave us so many pins of places to visit in Mexico. So we are excited to take you guys along to visit all these cool spots. You're gonna love it. If you guys want to see where we've been in Mexico, watch this video here and we will see you next time. Have an FNA day. Not even our amazing Patreons could save us from what happens next. Looks like Alex may have COVID. Don't tell all my secrets. <laughs>